This woman had great strength and speed. She could climb on the mountain with her bare hands. She's Bella. Before becoming a vampire, she was a basic girl. She was pregnant with a child of a vampire, Edward, when she almost died because of giving birth. Edward injected his blood into Bella. Bella's dream to become a vampire finally came true. After being a vampire, she can see things clearly. She loved her new life as a vampire. Moreover, since when she became a vampire, she also controlled herself well in front of blood, which made the other vampires extremely surprised. Bella looked at her daughter Renee Smee. Her growing speed was very rapid. It took her only two days to change from a baby into a seven-month-old child. Then Bella learned that Jacob had imprinted on her daughter. She angrily kicked him out. Jacob who had loved her so much would soon become her son-in-law. Which was it unbelievable to Bella. But it was something she could never change. One day, Edward took Bella to the forest to hunt. Meanwhile, there was a man climbing near them. He was bleeding and that attracted Bella. She rushed there. Luckily, Edward stopped her and her ability to restrain was also very good so she left. The Cullens temporarily had a peaceful life together. Renee Smee grew up very quickly. She now became a lovely six-year-old girl. Their peaceful life didn't last long. The family was going to be in danger. One day when Bella took Renee Smee out, she flew up, which made Bella very surprised. She actually wanted to catch a snowflake. Bitter Irina saw that and assumed she's an immortal child without asking any questions. There was also Jacob, because Irina's boyfriend was killed by wolves. That's why she hated them. Irina wanted to avenge her boyfriend. So she went to the Vulturi and notified them. Arrow, the leader of them who was finding some reasons to destroy the Cullens, was really satisfied to hear it. Alice saw the Vulturi and Irina coming to kill them, so she instructed the others to gather as many witnesses as possible. Who could to prove that Renee Smee was not an immortal child? It turned out that the vampires didn't accept the existence of vampire infants. They were considered as immortal creature, who were changed in childhood, and because they could neither be trained nor restrained, they could destroy the whole village. These children couldn't keep the vampire secret, so the Vulturi avoided their existence. They didn't allow such children, they and their mothers all had to die. Learning that the Vulturi was coming, the Cullen had to convince their friends to help saving Renee Smee. Although Renee Smee wasn't immortal, the Vulturi would still use this reason to start a war. If they couldn't avoid this war, the Cullens had to face it. They started to summon witnesses. Alice and Jasper then left to find the most important witnesses, because she might have seen the future. Other vampires were invited. At first they didn't want to join, but since when they knew Renee Smee wasn't a monster, they changed. Finally, the Cullens had found 18 vampires to help. They had various abilities, but their abilities were all useless in front of Bella. Like Edward, Bella's ability had protected her from his mind reading even when she was human. She had a special ability, a powerful mental shield. After being trained, she extended her ability, and was able to protect others from vampire powers. Even though they didn't want, they couldn't avoid the war. The Cullen family and their friends were ready. The Vulturi was very strong, their quantity and quality was both better than the Cullen. Especially, they had Jane who had the ability to induce a crippling and cause pain to others. There were also wolves but when compared to the Vulturi, the Cullen side were weaker. Carlyle said that they didn't want to fight, and told Arrow that Renee Smee wasn't a monster. Arrow was allowed to touch Renee Smee, and convinced that she wasn't an immortal child. At this time, Irina had to take full responsibility for her mistake, leading to her immediate death. Arrow said that Renee Smee might be harmless at the moment, but she might pose a risk in the future, so he thought the battle was necessary. At this time, Alice and Jasper returned. Alice shared with Arrow her vision of the battle which was to come, and proved that Renee Smee wouldn't be a risk to the vampires. Even that, Arrow still didn't believe her. And then the battle started. Jacob brought Renee Smee away, Carlyle died after rescuing Alice. Seeing his death, the Collins couldn't stand any more. They rushed towards each other and both sides were severely injured. Edward and Bella together killed Arrow. In the fire, Arrow got back to the reality. It turned out to be Alice's vision. Then Arrow believed her, giving Alice and Jasper an opportunity to reveal their witness. Novel, a half-human half-vampire just like Renee Smee walked in. He said that he didn't cause any threat to both human and vampires. So the Vulturi withdrew. Arrow saw his death in the battle, so he chose to leave. There is no danger here. We will not fight today, Arrow said. After that, the Cullen returned to their happy life. Alice glimpsed the future, seeing Edward, Bella, Jacob and a fully matured Renee Smee together. It's the end of the movie today. Bella's life may also be the dream of many women. She'll be beautiful forever. Her husband is very handsome and has special strength. What's more, he'll always love her. After getting married, they also had a beautiful daughter.